Uh, an opportunity arose when I got back from overseas, shop was up I always wanted to set up my own man bike company and uh, this was the perfect uh, shop front to get off the ground. Why have you always wanted to set up a mountain bike company? Uh, it's a passion of mine. My background's outdoor education. I uh, studied outdoor ed uh, over 10 years ago and you know, did a lot of guiding throughout Australia, different companies in mountain bike and other adventure activities and uh, always wanted to do mountain bike specifically you know, for, the, uh, for the people. Yep. Um, what influenced you to do all this? Oh, look, I think it's probably a number of things. Grew up on bikes through my old man. My old man had a shop for, well, he still has a shop as of today. Um, and I just loved riding and then uh, found that it was a career in outdoor education and instructing. And yeah, that's pretty much what, what led me to, to today. What's your average day at work? Average day, long days. <laughs> oh, well, how about we go a fun day? A fun day? Um, Fun day would be yeah taking people on a mountain bike tour as of like yesterday. Got up early, went up to Mount Buller, got some bikes ready to take a school group on a uh, mountain bike tour around Mount Buller. And the best thing about those days is at the end of the day they're just full smiles, having a ball, all excited, and they want to come back. Um, so what's the pros of this job? Uh, pros and perks of it all is that you can get cheap gear, uh, which is it adds a, to my lifestyle, so it means I can uh, live my lifestyle of riding bikes and be able to you know, work on my bike anytime I want and uh, be able to just fulfil yeah, my, uh, my passion for cycling. Um, what's the cons, so the negatives probably about it? Long hours, um, a lot of hard work running your own small business. Uh, certainly retail is tough in today's society. And, uh, you know, certainly trying to get business and people don't want to spend too much money. There's probably some of the sort of the, you know, negatives of the business. Um, customer relations can be a bit tough at times, but look, you sort of learn to deal with customers and deal with uh, conflict. But look, we sort of try and turn a lot of the negatives and positive these days. Um, you know, feedbacks how you become a better operator. So yeah. yeah. Um, how many stores have you got at the moment? Uh, I got one full-time store in Mansfield and then I've got a summer store at Man, uh, Man Um What are you looking for in the future when it comes to work pathways and where do you see yourself, say, in probably five years' time, ten years? Look, I've got a ten-year plan with the shop. Uh, we're halfway through that now. Uh, so I'll give this another five years and see if it actually uh, gets to the point of the, where I could step away and just let it run itself. If not, then there's an opportunity to sell and then I'll move back into the outdoor ed teaching world. Outdoor ed teaching world, will you still ride bikes? I'll definitely still be riding bikes no matter what, I don't think I'll ever stop.